What's good y'all? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a whip stitch for handles and shoulder straps with this step-by-step -step tutorial. You can use this to secure the pinched area on the handles and to attach the hardware on both handles and shoulder straps. I already did a full tutorial for handles and shoulder straps, so this video is just going to be focused on the whip stitch, which is great for increasing the durability and quality of your handles and straps, and it can be a great way to add in another contrast stitch too. I'm going to try to keep this tutorial short and sweet so let's get to it all you're gonna need is two needles it doesn't really matter what size but i'd recommend ones that aren't super big or super small then you'll want some thread ideally a bonded nylon thread that's at least tech 70 and finally some sort of awl or poking stick as well as a thimble can both be helpful before you start actually hand stitching, the first thing you'll want to consider is mapping out your stitches to make sure everything lines up for the whip stitch. So if you're doing it to add hardware, a good general rule is to find the middle of the fold where the hardware will sit and mark a half inch in each direction. This should be a pretty good spot to add the whip stitch, but since every piece of hardware is different, you'll want to test it yourself as well. You don't have to do the break in the stitching like I do, it's really just a design choice. The important thing is just getting all the stitches to line up on both sides. For the pinched areas on a handle, you just want to find where the pinch will be and make sure your stitching is hitting on the same spot on both sides. As you can see, once I've pinched the handles and sewn it, it's even on both sides, so my whip stitch will be nice and straight too. So just to show you again, the stitches aren't mapped on this handle since it's just a test one, but let's pretend they are. When I fold this part of the handle around the hardware, I do this so that my stitches line up, and when I reference poking through those stitches here in a sec, that means I'll go through them on both sides like this to make it easier to hand sew. The actual whip stitch, you'll start by running the thread through the eye of the needle, then go back towards the tail end, take the point of the needle and go through the middle of the thread, splitting the fibers to run it through. Then you'll do the same thing again and you should have this sort of S shape and then you can pull it tight. This will lock the thread on the needle. Then you'll wanna cut maybe 12 inches of thread or so and on the other end, you'll do the same thing. So thread through the eye, go back towards the tail and through the thread twice to make the S shape, then pull it tight. I'll show doing the pinch on the handles first. So I'll take my poking stick and go through the stitches where the pinch ends and since I mapped out the stitches, this will be even on both sides. Then I'll take the needle and go through either side of the little hole I just poked and pull the two needles so that the thread is even on both sides. Then I'll go back and forth, so taking the needle on one side, wrapping it over, and going back through the hole to the other side where it started. Then I'll take the other needle and do the same thing. And you'll keep going back and forth maybe four to six times total depending what weight of thread you're using. Just make sure to pull the thread tight after each stitch. Once you've done that, I recommend knotting both ends. So I start with the thread end that's on the inside of the handle, tie a knot and snip it just a bit above the knot so I leave a tiny tail end. You could just knot the other end on the other side, but I like to knot them both on the inside, so I'll run the needle through the next stitch up on the handle to bring it to the other side. Then I'll do the same thing, just tying a knot and snipping it. And then finally, I'll take a lighter to both tail ends, which will create a wax seal and lock that knot in place. Using the whip stitch to attach the hardware to the handles or straps is essentially the exact same. So you just find where the stitches are supposed to line up on both sides and poke a hole through those stitches. And just like before, you'll run one needle through both holes, then go back and forth stitching about four to six times. This time though, I typically just tie the knot for each end of the threads on the side that they're already on instead of pulling both through to the back side like I did for the pinch. Another tip for both the pinch and the hardware parts is to take the poking stick and gently push the knot ends back into the holes on both sides. Since the fabric is generally fairly thick for the handles, the knot will sit nicely down in the fabric, which gives a much cleaner finish than seeing the knots on the outside, but just make sure not to push the knot ends too hard where they go all the way through to the other side. Once you're done, it should look something like this. As you can see, it's a great way to add the hardware and get an extra contrast stitch in there, and it really brings that quality up. Doing shoulder straps is the exact same too. I'd map my stitches beforehand the same way for both my whip stitch on the bottom and where I'll machine sew across the top, and I'll do the whip stitch the same as I did when attaching the handles to the rectangle rings. This will take some 
some practice, you're probably not gonna get it perfect your first time, but once you've done it two or three times, maybe you should get the hang of it pretty well. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow. I'm still fairly new at this and I'm learning as I go. So feel free to drop any questions you have in the comments and I'll do my best to help. If you wanna see some more of my work, I'm also on Instagram and TikTok. And if you want more tutorials, make sure to subscribe here. I'm gonna be posting at least one or two a month. And I'm also gonna be doing giveaways for people who purchase my patterns and even people that just comment and subscribe on here. So have fun with your whip stitch. It does take a little bit of time to perfect and it will add a little bit of time to each piece you make, but it really does bring your quality to the next level. So in my opinion, it's completely worth it. I can't wait to see what you guys make though. I love y'all.